Hey guys, it's Luke. I uh, just thought I'd hop on here real quick and show how to play this new Hippocampus song, Sex Tape. Ooh. Came out uh, tonight or last night if you stayed up till 12, but yeah, it's pretty simple actually. Uh, the song is crazy and all over the place, but the guitar is actually pretty much the same throughout and it's pretty simple. I'll play it for you real quick. Peace all time. Now I did learn this by ear, so I mean Nathan might play it or Jake, whoever might play it, play it a different way, but it sounds pretty right to me. And yeah, I'll share real quick. So in the key of D. And um, if you've ever learned to play Blackbird by the Beatles, it's a lot of the same like type of chord shapes or picking pattern I guess that Paul McCartney does in that song so basically it starts a D but it's not a like it's not a D chord fully what well, it is it's just three notes though it's just D A and F sharp and you could play it up here so like it would be a D you got your fifth fret your root D and you got the seventh fret on the D string and then the 7th fret on the B string. So you skip the G string. It's just these three notes. And you don't let the G string play either. You just kind of pluck them all at the same time. So I use, I leave out my middle finger. I do thumb, index, ring. But you could, I mean, if you would want to do your middle finger instead or however. But basically just those three notes picked. And you're using that same type of chord shape kind of and like style the whole time so I actually think he plays it up here and not here but it sounds pretty much the same or well, no it doesn't but you know so 10th fret on the E 12th fret on the A and 11th fret on the G so that's your first chord a D major and it goes from A to G so that same shape I just taught you right here slide it up so 12th fret A 14th fret on the D and the B. So that G string you don't even play. I don't you don't play it throughout the whole song really, except on this chord. So D. That's like the majority of the song to be honest. So after it starts out boom, and it goes D, A to B minor. So it goes and from that A, you slide up the same shape except on the B string you go down a fret so let me read it out to you It'll be 14th on the A 16th on the D and 15th on the G so D G D and you go instead of sliding down to the G you go after that B minor and then the last part really is F sharp minor already know that part so it's and it just goes that same shape you have the B minor literally exact same just move everything down from the G so a ninth fret on the A 11th fret on the D and the 10th fret on the B so and then AG again back to D I'm about to call them out for you. D, A, G, D, A, B minor, D, A, G, F sharp minor, A, D, D. All right, and that's pretty much the whole song, to be honest. Um, I think there might be a part where it just repeats that. Like literally just a D, G, A, which is even easier than what I just taught you. So instead of going, instead of going up to that B minor like I think after he first says the sex tape line it just holds on this for a little bit which you can just listen to the song and figure out when um, each part is played but out the gate it for sure goes to that B minor so yeah hopefully this made sense I wanted to keep this short and sweet um, got any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll answer. If you have any songs you'd like me to check out, let me know.